Holiday Inn. There's not many gigs that have both the box and the canal as proximity. So how exciting is that? And it's Friday. And uh, we started this tour in Berlin and it began on the day when uh, the Germans have a public holiday so that all their men can walk around the streets and get drunk. And I asked someone to explain this day to me, uh, and it transpired it has two names. One name is something to do with Jesus going to heaven, and the other one is to do with men walking around the street and getting drunk. <laughs> and I was initially confused, but I thought, you know what, actually, when I think about it, we have a day like that in England when men walk around the street and get drunk. We call it Saturday. <laughs> And actually, weirdly, it has two names as well. It has another name. The other name we have for it is Friday. And we kind of... But what would never happen, this is the weird thing that happened in Berlin, on the public holiday, this never happens in England, a public holiday, all the shops were shut. The fuck is that about? What do you do on your public? Sure you don't go to church. I don't believe that. No, come on, don't be silly. You go shopping. That's what we do on our public holidays. Yeah, all the shops were shut. And this was a big disappointment to me because... Uh, for, for Englishmen, there are things that you can buy in Berlin that you can't buy anywhere else. And whenever we get there, uh, it's, or in any, any kind of big German city, we immediately start to think to ourselves, maybe I should go and buy some Unterhosen. <laughs> There's something about German Unterhosen that have a certain Wurstsprung der Technik that we don't have in England. And most of the, they, I don't know, most of the, the Unterhosen in England now are what we call boxer shorts. And they have led to this problem that we call ballroom. Where the strength of gravity in England has had a negative effect on the ratio between the ground and and, and you can see our, it's so bad now our young men must wear their trousers lower every year so their balls are let drop but but there's something about German on the that lifts and Jeff gently just separates so it's like so immediately, on the day after the day of drunken German men, I went to, we were staying on Alexanderplatz, I went to the uh, Kaufhaus there, the Galleria, and I went to the Unterhosen department, and there was the usual crap from Hugo Boss and all those other wankers. But right at the back, right at the back, there were genuine uh, German Unterhosen, exactly what I was looking for. And the best thing about it was, the name of the brand was Scheisser. I was so happy. Scheisser Unterhosen. I can't tell you how happy I was, because this brings together two things that are very funny to us in England. Unterhosen and Scheisser. They always make us laugh, in any, in any connection. You know, if you can put in the toiletting as well, we're just fooling about, killing ourselves. So this was really great for me, and also, because I I'd found, I was so happy, I found these Scheisse Unterhosen, and he even said Scheisse on them across the front. I was like, this is too good, I can't believe this. Maybe these are the only ones, I must buy some now, they might be the only ones. And also, I was able to go, there's a very, I mean, young ladies may not know this, but in the department store, there's a very special man. The Unterhosenführer, and his job is, and he's very good because he's trained, he's trained by looking at you. This is very skillful, just by looking. He can tell as you walk towards him, he's thinking in his mind, Rex or the Lynx. <laughs> In England, the, 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 the underpant guy, he has to shake you by the hand and he feels by your grip. You know, he estimates links or directs. But the Unterhosenführer in the Galleria Kaufhof was like, he already had me, you know, sussed out. I went to him, very tall, very proper man with a tie on everything, very serious man. He was warming his hands on a fire. And uh, I said to him in Schuldigungbitter, are these Unterhosen scheiße? <laughs> He said, they are, mate. I said, well, I'm not fucking buying them yet. <laughs> Yo, Shuri, so excited to sleep in this new room. Shuri, you're my reason to get out of bed before noon. Shuri, now when we sat out in the fire escape to